We called a tech out here on, they came on Wednesday and they found three leaks in the York and two in the Guardian. So, it's unfortunate, but I know you guys are gonna like the new units. And you guys ready to see the new units? There they are, dual zone Bryant Preferreds. Well, it is hard to believe, but June 16th, 2025 marks five years since my Bryant Preferred series air conditioners were installed on June 16th, 2020. So we're gonna start with a startup shutdown. We'll take a look at a startup from 2020 and compare it to a startup in 2025 of both units. And then we'll do the same with the shutdowns. So we'll go ahead and begin with the upstairs unit. Alright, so there went the upstairs unit. The most noticeable difference for me is that the compressor is quite a bit louder now on startup. I feel like you used to mainly just be able to hear the fan motor winding up. It was a little hard to hear the compressor, but now definitely more audible in my opinion yes yeah, so in 2019 this unit was manufactured that's a 310 and the suction line is ice cold and sweaty it's working really good the only issue this unit has had of course is the run capacitor went out had to be replaced in 2022 Let's just listen to it for a few seconds. All right, let's take a look at a 2020 shutdown and then we'll see the 2025 shutdown.
Alright, so there went the downstairs unit. And the first difference you probably notice is that the fan spin up was quite a bit faster. And that's because last year the fan motor control module died, so we had to have the motor replaced. This new Broad Ocean ECM. Of course, it was originally a Gintec. And if you remember in 2022, the compressor went out after a power outage. If that was probably my fault. I definitely should have turned the unit off when I noticed it acting up. But no harm was done there. And then in 2023, the run capacitor went out, so I had to have that replaced. So this unit has had its fair share of issues. But it's working really good now. Suction line's ice cold and sweaty. Look, the line is cool. I think, as far as sound goes, it's about as loud as it was in 2020. Yeah, of course, this one was manufactured in 2020 and it's a four time. The compressor might be a little bit louder, but not much. So one final difference you'll notice is that the shutdown is slightly different. So let's take a look at that. Here's a quick look at the indoor units. It's been a long time since I've been up here. Look at these. Here, we take a look at them since I looked at them in the first video of the Bryants. I don't think much has changed. Of course, they're both running right now. head back outside and wrap this video up. Alright, so that's going to just about wrap up this video. Here's one final look at both units running. Plus the neighbor's train. That thing, believe it or not, is 10 years old this year. It was installed May 29th, 2015 if I remember correctly. Yeah, hard to believe my Bryants are five years old already. Feels like they were just installed yesterday. It's about 91 degrees right now. It's a bit later from when I filmed the startup shutdowns. It was about 81 when I did that. But yeah, both units working great. Five years later. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and that'll be just about it.